So in the other film, you did the Kunzi already, but if I'm here, see, and, and I made contact with the stick, and we're in Hubud range, so we're in this somewhere. So what I do here is, as he hits, see how I create the space, hit the body, and flow up to lock number one. Okay, release it, and then go to the lock number two. Bring it back, and then when he strikes, you hammer away on the hand. Okay, maybe you punch the face, but you grab in, and that's that, that could be number three. There are more, but if you go like that, if we're in Hubud, we just want you to functionalize Hubud a little bit, instead of just doing it for the sake of doing Hubud. So however I get here, I might have exited here, but he hit me too soon, so I went here. See, that, that could already be one. See that right here? And this, this lock really needs this grip, okay? And this comes up, see where it strikes the back of the head, the front of the head? Then I grab it. If I release it, see, it's gonna go right away and hit him. So as I release that into the neck, see, I crank it like that. And once again, I emphasize the motorcycling of the grip here. So I come back, reestablish, see this? Now this'll punch too, see? And that'll punch too. Okay, then I turn my body watch, see, and that'll throw his carcass. So that we, call, we could call an arm drag, okay? So you could do it like that. The other thing over here is I'm doing the hubud, and I crush this hand, and I exit over here. See the hit to the face? That's the arm bar. See that? That's the figure four. Okay, you're like that. You can flow it that way. This is a combination of, of, of the um, uh, Dumog and, and the, uh, the sea lot, or what we call Bukhtinagara sea lot. So if we're in the Hubud right here, the whole idea is from here I need to be able to flow. So if I rip this out, you see where the strike is? See where the elbow will flow, and the figure four goes like that. And the same thing, so if we're in Hubud here, see, where I enter here, see where the exit is? Go right to figure four on the, should be able to do it on either side of the body. So if I'm doing Hubud here, okay, and I just catch this, see where I walk through the arm? See the knee is? See where the trap is? That's Bisset, I mean Bisquick. It's actually beset, but I don't call it bisquick anyway. So I go like this, right? We're in Hubud. See the motion here? See the elbow? See the walk, the line. Knee, kick, kick, trap, step, knee. Okay, see that? And this one here is simple, so as we're in Hubud, see, I roll this, I just go to armbar, lean him out, right? Then if I do this, over here, see the push, see the strike? Armbar, just throw him down like that. Really simple stuff. So one more time on this, see? Armbar. I like to use this. You could use this too, but this is so much more. So you just lean him out, okay? You can break his elbow anytime I want. So if he's punching me, see, I slap him, he comes back. See where the slap is? See where the back fist is? See the arm bar? Just shut him like that, just throw his carcass, okay? The head throw, if I'm here, see, two things I can do here. See, as I bring this up, uppercut under the arms, take a step back, Strike the head, strike his neck. Reverse position for me. So if I go here, see? See this, when I go here, see the uppercut's there? See where the strike is? See where the position it lands on the ground? Okay? So that, that could be there here. See the same thing, see now? When he goes here, see where this hits? Bang, bang, see the motion change? See where the knee is, see where my step? So the head throw is like that. Okay, so all I wanna do is take this hand, see where the hit is? See where the movement is? Push the body, 
Get the head down, the arm up, that'll throw it anytime I want, see. Okay, so over here, the sapu is easy because anytime I, I'm here, see, and I just move the body, see, that's the sapu. So anytime, see, I come in under, that's like executing. See why I open it? Put your foot here, slide it. See where the kick is to the elbow? He puts his hand down, I'll take his elbow out. Over here, see, if I exit here, see the hit? Here, see that? I move him to this position, sweep the foot here, grab him, elbow, knee. Okay, it's probably out of the camera, right? So if I'm like this, I'm in this hoobud, see where the strike is? See, I pull him this way a little bit, and I take this foot, capture him. This is really nasty. See that? And then that's, a, that's also a sapu. And there are many more. So anytime I'm here, now he stops my hand. See why I lift his hand? That's also sapu. OK? So he touches, as soon as he touches my hand, I lift it for him. And that's a sapu. Okay. Okay, so this one I did at F first. Over here, now watch. So when I go here and I hit him, see this hand? That's the head throw. That's really number D. See that? So I, uh, the one I did before, that's head and arm throw, that's Puru Kapala. Uh, this one is the head throw. And if I go like that, see, anytime I can get the hand, Inside here, see see the the body is? I step to this position, see? Just capture the head and throw him over your shoulder. Okay? So that's your basic Dumog and C lot out of Hoover.